Hey you guys, welcome to Vlogmas day 10. We're almost at the home stretch. For today's Vlogmas, woo! Okay, hold on, hold on, let's gather ourselves. It's the weekend and I'm letting my kids have a movie night. So they're having their little movie right now. And then we're gonna have dinner, bedtime routines, and then once they go to bed, I wanna wrap their Christmas presents because I have a lot of boxes and packages and stuff under the tree but I haven't wrapped anything yet, so I wanna do that so it looks all nice and cute and is ready for Christmas. But first things first, I wanted to do a workout. So I've been working out from home for probably, I don't know, like over five years. I used to have an elliptical. I used that quite a lot, especially throughout my pregnancies. And then I sold that and started doing like at-home apps, whether it was Peloton, the Chrissy Chilla app. Uh, she started, I forgot what it was called initially, now it's called Evolve You. I had a moment where I went to the gym before I would go off to work. And then I just went strictly at-home workouts. I tried Kayla It Signs app. I tried YouTube things, so many different things. And right now I landed on the MWH app, which is Melissa Wood Health. And I feel like it is my favorite workout app and just workout program that I have tried. And I feel like the most important thing when it comes to any habits, whether it's nutrition, health, working out, whatever, it's to be consistent. Everybody's gonna tell you this, but it's to be consistent because small changes are what make the difference. You know, stuff doesn't happen overnight. So be consistent and find something that you love, something that you can actually incorporate into your daily life, something that you like, that you enjoy, and you are going to be consistent with in the long term. I think it's one thing if you have like a very specific goal for an event, for a wedding, and you wanna be like super strict and on top of it. So you know, you, ha you have like a few months where you're really setting aside to be like on a strict regime. But for the most part, I would say when it comes to every day, just find something that you actually enjoy, that you look forward to, that makes you want to move your body, not because you want to fit into some pants or be a certain way, but because you enjoy it and it makes you feel good. And this for me is it. So it's kind of like an at-home Pilates app. It's not reformer Pilates where most people think of when they think of Pilates, like where you have that machine, which I hear is very difficult. I haven't tried that yet, but I would love to. I keep meaning to go to like a free class and try it out with my sister, but it just hasn't happened yet. One of these days, me and my sister will try Reformer Pilates, and I'll let you guys know how that how that is. But this one, it's so great. It's like little muscle movements, and you'd be surprised how those little movements can really help tone and sculpt and give you like a good burn. And you can choose between beginner, intermediate, or advanced. And then every single week, she has the entire week scheduled out for workouts. And every week, it refreshes. Or you can choose from classes that she already has. She has a nutrition section. And it's just like a really great at-home app to use. And I do have some ankle weights that I bought, one-pound weights off Amazon to use as well. So I would highly recommend it. Um, for me, working out from home is just the best option, especially as we travel. But I've just been doing it for five years. I have three kids. It's just the easiest. I enjoy it. It's convenient. And I gave up HIT because I feel like HIT, I used to do HIT like almost every day it was just too much women's hormones are already dealing with so much <laughs> so i feel like hit was just not it hit was not it and this it's like more mindful you gotta really like practice on your breath work and making sure you're keeping your core tight and be really mindful of all the movements and i just love it so i would highly recommend it. i don't do the yoga ones because there are some yoga ones i just personally don't do yoga but i do love pilates and like it's just great so I'm gonna do that right now I'll leave the link for the app down below just you guys so you guys can specifically look it up I think sometimes she has like 30 day free trials that's how I started started in May haven't looked back ever since so get a workout in and then we'll do our routines it's gonna be today's vlogmas and we are gonna wrap some Christmas presents later Hold up, I am on my way I'm in motion let's go to the ocean yeah let's go out Out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times, 
We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. such a good workout I especially love the full body workouts or the like glute focused ones those I feel the most or abs I've definitely noticed a huge increase in my core strength before I could barely lift my legs up and down a few times without like giving up and giving in but being consistent I'm telling you so if you can find a free trial I would highly recommend trying it out who knows maybe you'll fall in love with it like I did so this is kind of going to be a night routine video but I saw I had an Amazon package come in so I'm going to go grab it from the mailbox I also have some a lash fight order that's supposed to come in I ordered the nine days advent calendar from lash fight. I'm not sure what's in it I won't open it once I get it because I want to I don't know if I want to do a reels or what I'm not sure yet, but I'm really excited to receive that because it's lashes. So I'm going to go check if that came in. It says it's not delivered yet, preparing for delivery, but sometimes it like, takes a while to update. So right, I got my packages. My lash fight order did come in after all. Like I said, sometimes it says that it hasn't delivered, but it actually has. And then I got my slippers. These were like $15. They're from Jessica Simpson. I didn't want to spend a crazy amount. And I wanted something black because I already have ones that are, first let me try them on and make sure they fit before I take off the tags and stuff. But I already have like khaki ones and a perfect fit. They're actually so soft. Let's see how they hold up though. Again, I'm not here expecting crazy quality because you get what you pay for sometimes, but these look really nice. And I don't usually have like really high expectations. I feel like I grew up not having really expensive things and I was able to make them last. I feel like I still am that way. Like I'm able to really make my affordable items that most people would say is not good quality last years and years and years. I don't know, they're just, ooh they're nice and squishy. I took off my socks. They're nice and squishy but my husband called me when I was getting the mail and he said he's gonna be coming home soon. He was working at the land all day so He's asking what's for dinner, so we're gonna try. Oh, these cats are so sneaky. And then I got another Christmas card from my friend Lisa and her beautiful family, so I'm gonna put it on the tree. This is our second Christmas card. My cousin said she sent us one as well, but I never got it, so I don't know what happened to that one. But I'm kind of like putting all the Christmas cards on the tree. I have one there, and I have my brother and his family here. And we're just going to have like a collection of Christmas cards on our tree. I thought that's... I did that before. We had two Christmas trees in our old house. Okay, Chai, I need to stop like stealing all these Legos. I just dug out all these Legos from underneath the slide. And she's going back and like stealing them all and playing with them. I wanted to show you guys what the slippers look like on. I think they're really cute and super cozy and comfy. Just what I wanted for the price range. So... If you need a stocking stuffer or a little gift for someone, can't go wrong with some slippers. Okay, I'm gonna change because this is like, I feel like this is choking me and I'm getting too hot. I changed into these pajamas here. I've had them for over a year. I bought them myself off of Amazon. They're from the brand, I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. I think it's Equair, I believe it is. I'll leave the link to it down below. But these are probably the best pajamas that Amazon has, in my personal opinion. Again, I've had them for a year, I've washed them so many times and they've held up so well like they haven't really pulled on me or anything um the material is nice and soft it's really thin but it has like this weight to it so it's not like super flimsy it's just really nice and then it has the waist high with the satin string to it the only thing i'll say is when you're washing it be sure to tie the string because sometimes the satin ribbon goes inside the loopholes and then you'll lose it so i've had to like fish it out a few times and I love the length. I hate my pajama pants are so short. I'm not that tall. I'm 5'6". But these are like a really... If you're super short, then you might not like them. But for me, these are like perfect. I'm so happy with the length. And then it has like black piping all around. So I don't know. In my personal opinion, I feel like these are probably one of the best pajamas on Amazon. Definitely worth the price. They were like 40 something dollars maybe. For dinner, I'm going to make a salad. I have a salad here. We already ate not that long ago. I made some chicken like probably like an hour or two ago. I used the, um, like the meat tenderizer, smashed it up. It's like little cutlets. 
and then dipped it in some egg. Well, I seasoned it first, dipped it in egg, and then I seasoned some pinko panko breadcrumbs, and then dipped it in breadcrumbs and fried it on a cast iron skillet. And this was the end result. So we have some chicken. I'm gonna do a salad and then mashed potatoes, maybe with gravy. My mom gave us some potatoes from their garden when they visited us, when they visited us. So I'm gonna peel these up, boil them up, and that's gonna be the dinner. So let me turn on some Christmas music, get the vibe going, and start making some dinner. This year I wanna hang out with my friends and family. I'm in the kids' bedroom. They kind of have their own separate bedroom. There's a door behind me. It's right off the kitchen. This is the toy hauler garage where most people will store like dirt bikes, things like that. And they, this is actually, this back wall is actually a ramp that goes down or you can make it into a back patio. But we transformed it into their room. My husband custom built two queen bed frames for them. Originally it had like these two couches of sorts that became a futon into like a queen size bed and then a queen frame up top but he we completely took those out and he just did two queen beds for them um but i do have some furniture here like this dresser i love how their room came out i actually have a few vlogs of me kind of putting it together and i have a little bench here with some storage underneath every night i move the dresser out of the way it's not convenient and super functional i'm usually big on something being functional but I really needed like a dresser in here in storage. Any kind of dresser or storage unit is gonna to be too tall to place underneath here because the bed's lower down pretty low so the kids can get on. So it is what it is, but that's literally what I do every single night. So that's just part of our, my night routine. And then every morning I'll just put it back again. It is what it is. You win some, you lose some, you know? how this tan developed my hands look a little bit a little bit crazy and darker but this is the lux and filtered like i wasn't liking it at first and now i feel like i don't know why all of a sudden i just turned into like a green grinch like did you guys not see those color changes all right but the kids are in bed and now i want to make see they would go back to like that green color so weird uh, i'm gonna make myself some tea i told them to stay in their room not come out because i'm gonna be wrapping some christmas presents so i said no peeking so i'm gonna make some tea and we're gonna wrap some Christmas presents. And my theme for this year is craft paper and green. I got this green, it's like a chiffon type ribbon. I actually got it on Timu, but you can probably find it anywhere. It's really thin. And then I have some leftover wrapping paper from last year. It's that one right there. So I'm just reusing it. I can't remember where I got it, but it's so beautiful. It's like gold deer with some red berries. I think it's called holly. And then I picked up some craft paper at the dollar store. So my idea is to just wrap it in craft paper and tie it around with some of this green ribbon. Nothing too crazy or fancy, but that's kind of the theme for this year. Just keep it kind of basic, but yeah, still cute. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling. Can 
done with wrapping of the presents and I ran out of wrapping paper so I'm gonna have to go to the dollar store and buy some more I need to go there anyway to buy some floral wire floral wire because I want to make my own garlands but look at how cute this is I love it it's so beautiful I might not have enough chiffon ribbon for all of them but I'll see what the dollar store has maybe I'll go to Walmart velvet is another great option but yeah I'm gonna finish the vlog here today's vlogmas vlog I hope you guys enjoyed our night routine and hanging out and like the workout routine and stuff check down below for any links thank you guys for hanging out and I really hope to see you guys in tomorrow's vlogmas bye